what is due to God if you're convicted as of, along with the other in the Ten Commandments, not only yeah. murder, but it's also coveting, lying, bearing, mm -hmm. bearing false witness, stealing. So we've all been convicted and there's a penalty due us and it's separation from God for eternity. But that's why he knew that this was going to happen and he gave us a way out if we we're just willing enough to, to look at the world around us and say something's wrong with mankind. Mm -hmm. there, why have people killed each other from time immemorial? There's got to be something wrong with mankind. And is there a God? Can I know if there's a God? You know? And this book that has fulfilled prophecy, 100% ful fulfilled prophecy, which proves that the Bible is true, God himself says that that's going to prove his existence, that no one else is going to be able to tell the future 100% accurately. Satan, of course, tries to throw in all these other religions to try and confuse people, to get them to reject this book somehow. So evolution is there, false yeah. religions are there, and it's amazing. You know, I, I come from a Jewish background, you come from Ireland, Catholic background, you come from a Catholic background in the U.S. It doesn't matter. People who seek, God says you should seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. Right, I'm, yeah. I'm going on, let you guys jump in if you want. Well, you're doing good tonight. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I do good, sometimes I don't do yeah, so I'm, good. And the thing is, reason. again, uh, we in, in, in our earthly wisdom would, would think that, well, God's got the Ten Commandments. I remember as a child thinking, you know, the Ten Commandments are, couldn't be written by God because it's all back to front. You know, it should be first thou shalt not kill, but it isn't. In fact, thou shalt not kill is not even in the top five. It's the top five commandments are about putting God first, not worshiping any strange gods. And if you are doing, if you get that wrong, all the rest is, is you know, if you, if you miss the top two commandments, the rest will follow you. Hmm. And I believe that there is a, they're in an order of, of importance. And, oh, we got a phone call, looks like. But, um, Barrett. Hi, Barrett. How you yeah, doing? Hi, Mike. Uh, well, I just wanted to correct you on something. Uh, yeah, I was reading the National Geographic years ago about they were finding fossils of uh, stuff on top of the mountaintops. I don't know about Mount Everest specifically, but, but mountaintops are way above sea level. They, they could ever have been sea level. And, uh, you know, and you're, you guys are sitting there saying, you know, well, that's proof of Noah's Ark. Well, you got to look at how are mountains made tectonic plates they collide so what was sea but floor. if the tectonic plates collide and they could move the mountains up there would be no gas trapped we would have no gas reserve because once you start moving stuff around and cracking up the earth's surface all the oil escapes all the gas escapes so you can't have it both ways well anyway I was just I was just saying uh, you know that makes sense to me because mountains are made that way and and uh, well, have you seen mountains be made that way, or just accepting somebody's idea that mountains are made that no, way? No, no, but I do want to say something about Noah's Ark, st the story of Noah's Ark. Um, Noah, okay, all the, all the stuff that's in the Bible, they're just, they're stories, okay? And they're like, they're like um, the moral of the story type stories. Well, and that's it's like Noah's Ark. He warned people, you know, like... Like say, uh, like for t take today for instance, you know the, the crash of the dollar and the uh, military-industrial complex and all this stuff. Um, you know, I'm seeing a crash. You know, an overpopulation. There, there, there are there are more prisons being built now. Oh man, it's just unbelievable. But that's stuff. when people turn away from God. That's what happens. The Bible says, "Well, because yeah, my people I mean, have turned away from me, I will curse their land and curse their children." Yeah, the Micah was found in godly kind of principles, moral, and yeah, it really prospered. In 1962, we took the Bible and prayer out of schools, and you can trace back. That was the beginning of the end for this country when they did that. Anyway, I, anyway, you have to have some kind of moral, what whatever religious religion you believe in, or me, I, I, I don't name it because uh, I well, believe... Well, you can make up your own, but the, the Bible says that there was a worldwide flood, and you look around, you see fossils everywhere on top of every mountain, so the likely, most likely explanation would be a worldwide flood. Well, you know why the Earth doesn't have, you know, a whole bunch of craters on it like the moon, right? It's because we have, you know, weather and water and erosion and stuff like well, that. Well, we have so an atmosphere. No, we have an atmosphere 
that burns up most of the asteroids that would come in and strike a planet like the moon. We have an atmosphere, and the reason we have a mat an atmosphere is because our magnetic field sustains it. And it, there was a recent article saying that Mars does not have an atmosphere because it has no magnetic field. Our magnetic field is decaying. You can't go back uh, maybe 15, 16,000 years tops. I got a question for you about Mars. Hey, before you, <laughs> before you jump in with a question about Mars, Barrett, we've talked before several times, and um, you're, you're into Eastern religion, correct? I mean, you know. Well, I, I'm not labeling anything. Because well, you believe how, that. How can you, you, let me, how, how hey, can hey, you, hey, hey, yeah, you believe that there are Christ consciousnesses like other gurus teach. You're into a woman guru, as I recall, and, and they teach that Christ was another guru like Krishna or other gurus. Is that correct? He's gone. He's gone. Well, that's what he said in the past anyhow, and I was into that stuff a long time ago. And again, you can, you can get out of that real easy because when they're calling Jesus a guru, Jesus is calling all those that came before him and after him false. Don't believe any of them, Jesus said. And he said that only I can bring the spirit of truth to earth. That's in uh, John chapter 16. And we can give you information on that if you're caught in the Eastern religion, New Age, reincarnation, Hindu trap that I was for, for many years. Um, Barrett, if you want to call back with that other question, you can in the future. But we, I wanted to touch on that. And Sean, you were, you were going to say something? Oh, um, let's see. I was just saying that, that this is what evolution is full of. Well, the fossils are on top of the mountains because the activity of the crust forced the mountains up. Oh, well, the oil has been trapped down here because nothing has been moving for a long time. But even then, you can't get past 20,000 years. So it's like uh, then. Uh, I don't know, I can't remember what the, the oh, it's a, the very active crust, I think, was supposed to not have any, any craters on, on the Earth, but it's actually the Earth's atmosphere that burns up anything that comes in. And uh, you can't go back more than uh, 30,000 years tops, and the magnetic field would be so strong here that nothing could live. And uh, if you bring the magnetic field down to a lower level, there'd be no atmosphere left. So even if we, we're losing atmosphere at the moment because of our weak magnetic field. So even if they say that, well, the magnetic field didn't ramp up at the exponential rate going back in time that we see it falling off, like, you know, half-lives would be gone up by the square as you go back in time, that it stayed at a constant. But if that were true, the atmosphere would be gone because we're losing atmosphere all the time just from the solar wind. And, you know, we've shown <coughs> privileged planet you know, a couple of times on the air here. An incredible movie or film, you should get a hold of that, which talks about how rare the Earth is in the universe. And, you know, it's God that made the atmosphere. It's God that made the tectonic plates that, by the way, I didn't know this, but these guys from NASA talking about how rare Earth is, we're talking about how those plates keep the water of the oceans fresh by cleansing things and also by doing some other things that are necessary for, for life, that tectonic plates are necessary for life on the planet. Really fascinating. And, and uh, there's many physicists that they look at the laws of the universe, you know, the law of gravity, the things that are really laws, and they see that there has to be, they're so finely tuned, tuned you know, the nuclear, f the strong <coughs> nuclear force, the weak nuclear force, the law of gravity. Yeah, the uh, same. The same strength that keeps atoms from from uh, flying apart, uh, they think, should also affect gravity. So the gravity should be so strong that you would struggle to get your hand off a table. So how can you have this gravity be such a weak force that allows us to get up and function when you put all the, the atoms together and form cells to form bodies, and yet within the actual atoms and cells you have this super strong force that keeps the electrons keeps the neutrons and protons in the center and the electrons whizzing around the outside. You know, at the speeds that they move at, they should just take off. And when you crack an atom, that's what a nuclear explosion is, is all those things, that's the strength at which they fly apart at. So if you uh, knock a pr um, inside an atom, you have a neutrons and protons in the center and electrons whizzing around the outside. They look like little solar systems, basically. And they move so fast that when you strike the center and knock the proton and neutron out of that, uh, those electrons and the protons and neutrons fly away at, at, at the speed of a, well, that's what a nuclear explosion is, and they hit the, the protons of other atoms around them, and the whole thing cascades. 